lead. I am here with a man who is actually in charge of his party's big party and delivering on that. Uh, Steve King, thank you very much for, uh, for being with us tonight. It's a pleasure to be in almost my second home in Cleveland and a pleasure to be with you in the studio. All right, now. so when, at, at, the, at, the remark, at the press conference today, you said that, well, we're trying to deliver an event that uh, we hope will be uh, uh, nominating the leader of the next free world, so you're not under too much pressure. Here, huh? <laughs> Hopefully we'll do better than we did in 1936. Which, to remind people, was a, a convention in Cleveland, and the nominee was Alf Landon, who didn't fare too well against uh, nope. Mr. Roosevelt. <laughs> All right, so um, uh, next question here. Uh, we have a situation where uh, you and your staff are not yet on the ground running with uh, full speed ahead, just moving into headquarters in the Halley Building. Right. How many people are going to be here, and how soon do you think you will be up and uh, up and at full speed. We have now about 10 people, Tom, on staff, but I would anticipate that sometime no later than the first quarter of 2016, we'll have somewhere probably between 100 and 125 people on staff. Okay, and they're going to be living here full time? And yes. This is okay. Yep. David Gilbert kind of described the whole experience uh, from now to the finish line as sort of a marathon sprint. What do you think of that characterization? Indeed, uh, it's a 369 day marathon sprint. Uh, David is right. Uh, a lot to be accomplished between now and Monday night, July 18th, okay. 2016. Uh, one big question we're still looking for an answer to. The media center, which will have all sorts of uh, mm -hmm. implications for security. Is it going to go in that garage next to the queue, or is it going to be at the convention center, or both? And also talk, talk a little bit about the technological implications, all of the new infrastructure that's going to have to be put into right. in this wired right. web world. Both the uh, east garage from the queue as well as the convention center are still on the table as uh, logical and likely spots for media. Uh, my guess is at the end of the day there might be a little bit of both, but uh, we're probably uh, several weeks away from making a final decision. We're going to have the media coming into town and uh, okay. giving a, uh, a tour of them and getting okay. their reaction to that. Okay, so uh, one big question uh, that could make your life uh, maybe a little bit more challenging. If the Cavs make the playoffs and get to the finals next year, can you really have the queue ready in just a, in a couple of uh, couple of three or four yes. weeks? Yes, we will. Typically, we have about seven weeks with which to rebuild the arena a little bit inside to make it a convention. But uh, in this case, we may have as little as four weeks, but we're fully confident that we can uh, turn that around in time for our opening July 18th. Okay. You've, you've had some involvement with past conventions. Are we on track, say, with uh, uh, Tampa or Minneapolis-St. Yes, Paul? Yes. Actually, we're probably ahead of both of those conventions. Okay. Well, that's encouraging and good to know. Uh, Steve King, thanks very much for your, uh, your thoughts and uh, explanations tonight. I'm sure we'll be seeing you more you sure will, as Tom. the year Thank unfolds. You. Thanks. Right. All right. Rush, back to you. Tom Barris,